In this lesson, we're going to learn about mix-ins. Mix-ins are a little different than modules. One area where we can use mix-ins is with class programming, and I'll demonstrate how that works in just a moment. So let's start a new program. We're going to create two programs. First, we're going to create the mix-in, which is just like a module, only we bring it into our other program differently. So we're going to create some mathematical constants in this mix-in. So we're going to call it constants.rb. And it looks just like a module. So we start it with the keyword module and the name of the module. Now I'm just going to define some constants. One more, the golden ratio. And that's all we're going to have for the module. So I'll save it and exit. Now we're going to create a program that uses that. We're going to create a circle class. We use a mix in just like a module, so I'm going to require it and we put the path to the same directory that we're in. And we'll create our circle class where a mix-in is different than a module as we include it into our program. Now I'm going to define the class. It's going to be a very simple class. We'll just have one field, one variable radius. And then we'll have our constructor initialize method and then a get area, which will allow us to use one of the constants in our file. So notice how we write constants colon colon for scope resolution operator, PI or PI. And now let's use this in a little program. So let's save our code, go back to our command prompt, and we see that it prints out the radius. Where mixins come in handy is what if we were creating this circle from a shape class? I didn't do it just because I didn't want to make it too complex, but I can demonstrate how it would work. If we did that, then that would be the only class that we can inherit from, would be shape. So if we needed to get these constants into the program, we can't do it via another class. Instead, we have to use a mix-in, or we can use a mix-in. And that's where mix-ins come in handy. So the bottom line is that you cannot do multiple inheritance in Ruby. But you can create a mix-in that is similar to a class and use that mix-in as if it were another class. In the exercises, I'll demonstrate in more detail how that works exactly. But for now, suffice it to say that a mix-in is similar to a module, but a little bit different in its mechanics. And in this program, we've demonstrated how to use mix-ins. And with that, we wrap up this lesson on mix-ins.